December 1st, 1895, a major announcement ripples through the world of physics. Wilhelm Röntgen, a German physicist, has discovered a new and mysterious form of radiation, which he calls X-rays. Almost overnight, X-rays redefined the landscape of medical science, but as their power spread into beauty parlors, this high-energy technology brought devastating complications that would leave a permanent mark on the history of plastic surgery and dermatology. Röntgen's discovery of X-rays came by accident while working with cathode rays in vacuum tubes. When the tube's high-energy electrons collided against glass or metal, they produced a new, highly penetrating form of radiation that caused a fluorescent screen to glow. By happenstance, Röntgen realized that he could see the bone structure of his hand by placing it between the X-ray source and the fluorescent screen. Just like that, an entire new diagnostic modality was born, enabling clinicians to peer inside the human body, revolutionizing medicine. Within months, given the simplicity of the equipment, physicians across the world began employing X-rays. In February 1896, Dr. William Dudley, a chemistry professor at Vanderbilt, offered to X-ray his own head to determine whether the new technique could locate a bullet in a child who'd been accidentally shot. Dudley sat half an inch under an X-ray lamp for one hour. Three weeks later, his colleagues noted substantial loss of hair in the portion of his scalp adjacent to the lamp. Likewise, plastic surgery pioneer Dr. Frederick Kolla an early X-ray adopter, also witnessed the same effect only months later, noticing significant alopecia in a 13-year-old patient following X-rays of the head. In Austria, these reports piqued the interest of Dr. Leopold Freund, a dermatologist working at the Children's Hospital in Vienna. Seeing the possibility of X-rays for epilation, Freund set out to test the new modality on a five-year-old patient with a large congenital hairy nevus of the back after the first round of 10 daily treatments, with two hours of exposure per day, Freund was able to show that X-rays could be used for this purpose, publishing his findings in 1897. The news of this successful use of X-rays spread quickly around the world. However, soon after, as he attempted further treatment of the lower back, Freund witnessed the destructive power of the radiation, causing prolonged ulceration of the skin. He issued an addendum only a few months later, but by then, the therapeutic use of x-rays had already taken off. From the treatment of cancers to numerous inflammatory skin conditions like lupus and psoriasis, the therapeutic uses of x-ray radiation seemed boundless, birthing yet another entirely new specialty, radiation oncology. Despite insufficient safety data, the use of x-rays spread quickly into the cosmetic realm advocated not only for the permanent removal of hair, but also for the treatment of acne. By the 1920s, some X-ray devices were designed and marketed exclusively for aesthetic purposes, finding their way into unregulated beauty parlors. Unsuspecting customers would casually sit down for repeated sessions of facial X-ray exposure for months or even years. As the popularity of the treatments increased, Reports of delayed dermatitis, skin atrophy, ulceration, and cancerous lesions began to appear. In time, the magnitude of the problem became clear, with dozens of documented cases of devastating facial malignancies reported, from skin carcinomas to facial sarcomas, leading to facial disfigurement or even death. Alarmed, the American Medical Association passed a resolution in 1929 referring all cases to their Bureau of Investigation. By the early 1940s, a mounting number of delayed complications, lawsuits, and federal regulatory action all but ceased the use of X-ray epilation. Unfortunately, the long-term complications continued to be seen for decades. In 1960, Theodore Maiman, an American physicist, successfully built and operated the first functioning laser, a ruby-based device with a 694 nanometer wavelength. Then in 1983, Anderson and Parrish at Harvard Medical School published their seminal article on selective photothermolysis, expanding our understanding of laser tissue interactions that enabled the creation of modern laser hair removal devices. Today, 
Advancements in radiotherapy, featuring gamma radiation, neutron beams, and a multitude of laser and light devices, permit the treatment of numerous conditions. These and many other modalities trace their origins back to Röntgen's accidental discovery 130 years ago, with their aesthetic applications built on the work of the pioneers of plastic surgery. To learn more about this story, visit Pioneers of Plastic Surgery on Substack.